Well, this is what I've been using. It's just a old kitchen pot. Drilled a hole and put a little clip on there. And that keeps the dogs from playing with it or knocking it over. But thing is, if we bought a camper and we're going to want to be gone a bunch of weekends. And it's kind of hard to find somebody who want to come over and feed the dogs and the chickens. So I'm coming up with a gravity fed system so that we're good for a couple days. So what I came up with is this right here. Gravity fed water system. Now what it is, it's a seven gallon jug. I bought at a guy that sells barrels, um, 104 barrels it's called, uh, near Mount Pleasant Mills. And right here, I just got this brass valve from him and it threads into the lid. This was actually a citrus flavoring for a drink manufacturer of some sort. I rinsed it all out, washed it out, made up a hose here from a hardware store, just a clear line with half inch PVC. Got an adapter that goes from garden hose to half inch pipe thread, and then went to half inch PVC. For PVC, I went to half inch galvanized steel, which I ran down. There, Fern's enjoying it already. She likes it. She got the system down. These are stainless steel uh, water nipples. They're made by Lixit. L-I-X-I-T. It's called an L70. What it is, is a spring-loaded nipple there. All you gotta do is push down on it, or push in on it. And I mean, you can see, it flows pretty good. Put a half inch T and a little nipple there going over to extend that for fern. So I have her running down this one. And then over here for Rio, I just put a 90, ran it down to another 90. And that solves that problem. So now that I got this project done. Um, I have automatic feeders coming tomorrow. They're just a uh, forget pet lodge uh, Pound chow or whatever they are. They're 12 pounders. I'm gonna fasten those on the front side uh, I won't be able to ration them. They'll be able to eat as they want but over the weekend They're just gonna get a little more food than I usually give them about a cup and a half a day, but I'll just stock it back to more of a maintenance feed for the summer and uh and put them in those feeders. But this system is working pretty good. Like I said, Fern already got it down and uh, should work pretty well. I'm, I'm excited to see how it does. And then in the winter, I'll just have to go back to knocking ice out of the bowls.